Sometimes, when you type big text on your phone, it's pretty hard to get the cursor where it needs to be. You can control this little thing using your spacebar. Simply hard press the spacebar and now you can move the cursor wherever it needs to go. Voila! You can get bite-sized pineapple pieces without using a knife. At least that's what this viral TikTok wow. tip is promising. First of all, twist off the top of the pineapple, that part which has green leaves. It's pretty easy. Just grab it and make several twists. Then pick the pineapple up and pound it down on the kitchen table. Repeat the pounding for about 5 times to make sure you did it sufficiently. Now you're going to need some arm strength. Roll the pineapple back and forth while pressing down on it. The weight is supposed to help separate the core from the fruit. But beware, if your pineapple is very ripe, it might start to release juice. Now, gently hold the pineapple skin, pull out one of its scales, and enjoy your snack. If you've done everything right, you're supposed to be able to pull out a bite-sized piece that will separate from the core quickly. Here's another game-changing tip for your kitchen. Get a habit of storing the cling wrap in the freezer. When the wrap is cold, it's less sticky and much easier to unroll and use. You're welcome! We usually place these non-slip bathtub mats on the bathtub surface to prevent falls. But when you're not using the bathroom, you can stick or hang them on the wall. This way, the mat will get dry way faster and you'll prevent the accumulation of soap and dirt leftovers on the bottom of the bathtub or shower. Gather your shower curtain into a single bundle and tie it into a big knot. This way, it won't create obstacles when trying to clean the bathtub. Remember those mysterious stripes on bathroom towels? It's not just a decoration. It's a stabilizer strip to help the towel last longer. Stripes help keep the towels fluffy by limiting the shrinkage every time you wash them. Therefore, the towel retains its shape, size, and flexibility over time. They're also handy when you need to dry and clean a narrow and hard-to-reach place where the thick part doesn't work because it's too fluffy. For example, the space between your toes or behind your ears. Also, the stripes help to sort towels by type. Otherwise, all the towels of the same color and texture would look alike. You can see the stripes when you fold the towels properly, so it's easier to differentiate. This way, you can keep all the towels together in a linen closet. Your family members will never confuse their own towels with someone else's. Are you sure you know how to use this flat paper box with matches? You just have to take a match and slide it across the striking surface, right? Turns out there's another way. Put the matchstick head on the striking surface, close the box and pinch it. Then pull the match out with one quick and confident movement and it should light up. By the way, when you light up a matchstick or a candle in a dark room, the flames don't have shadows. Did you know that? The circle on the plastic jug of milk can tell you if the milk is good or bad. So when the circle is inside, take this as a good sign. And when it pops out, it means that the milk is expired. Also, the circle helps to keep the jug from blowing up if you drop it. When it hits the ground or any other surface, the ring will expand to keep the milk inside the plastic. And if you leave milk in the fridge for too long, it will develop gases. In this case, the circle will prevent the jug from popping inside the fridge. When it comes to plastic bags with frozen food, we usually cut off a strip from the top to open the package, but you don't have to throw the strip in the trash right away. You can tie the bag with the remaining food and put it back in the freezer. Let's say you're driving a car through the night. Suddenly, some annoying driver behind you with the brights on gets closer and spoils the party. You can flip this little tab on your rearview mirror and make the bright lights fade away. In fact, this little mirror that looks flat is a so-called prismatic wedge. What looks flat is an angled mirror with a wedge of glass. When you switch the mirror to dim mode, you change the angle of the mirror so it reflects more light. Here's a cool safety tip when you have to park your car at some risky spot at night. Pull out the driver's seatbelt, put it through the door handle, and fasten the belt as usual. This way, you'll ensure that nobody can get in during the night. Even if they succeed in getting the door unlocked, they still won't be able to come in. If your car got frozen on a cold winter night and the glass is covered with ice, 
you can clean it using the following tip. You don't need any special cleaning brush. Just fill a big sealable plastic bag with hot water and wipe the bag over the car to defrost the ice. Now, wipe off the remaining water with a rag and you're ready to hit the road. Everyone knows how to hang a sweater, right? Well, there's a better way that helps avoid the shoulder pimples that arise when the hanger doesn't fit your clothes perfectly. Put your sweater flat on your bed and fold it in half, like this. Then place the hanger on the sweater on a diagonal, like this. Remember that the hanger hook should be under the arm. Now, grab the arms and fold them across the hanger. And then, hold the body of the sweater and fold it across in the same manner. Congratulations! Now you know the perfect way to hang your sweater. If you're out of staples, you can just turn your stapler over, and there's a secret little compartment where you can put a whole row of extra staples. And now you can just conveniently put it into your stapler and go on with your work. There's a big chance that your oven door is removable. This way, you can clean it between the glass. Of course, the mechanism may differ depending on the model. So, first of all, check the lower corners of the door, and you'll probably find two screws that will help you lift the door up and then put it back where it belongs. Here's a hilarious tip for peeling boiled chicken eggs. Remove some shells from the top of the egg, about the size of a small coin. Then break up the bottom of the egg, and now blow into the top hole as if you're blowing a balloon. The peeled egg should pop out of the bottom. Just make sure the eggs are hard boiled. If you have a basic electric screwdriver, you can order special brush heads. Your cleaning routine will never be the same again. This device will help you quickly and easily clean the dirtiest tiles and gaps between them. Just spray some bath cleaner and let your screwdriver brush remove all the impurities. Although this simple tip is very satisfying, some say that the sound evokes memories of dentists and ultrasonic dental cleaning. So you're watching your favorite cooking show when suddenly the star chef adds a pinch of salt to some jam that's supposed to go into a dessert. You kick up the phone to call and complain, but right then the chef explains. It turns out that adding salt to fruit is a common thing in different cuisines across the world. Like in Mexico, they like to spice up mango and citrus fruits with salt and chili powder. You can try mango with a shrimp taste in the Philippines and salted watermelon in the southern states. So, how does it work? Well, let's say you're eating a raw mango sprinkled with salt. With the first bite, you notice the salty flavor, and the sweet fruity taste is then slightly delayed. It feels as juicy and amazing as ever. It's most likely because salt affects the sweet taste receptor for sugar, and then really magic happens on a molecular level. One study even found that we have more sugar detectors in our taste cells than scientists previously thought. One of those detectors must direct sugar to a sweet taste cell when it gets in contact with salt. You can try and put salt on any fruit you like, but the effect will be different. Salt can make sweeter fruits like cherries and strawberries even sweeter and balance the flavor of grapefruit, pineapple, and watermelon. Just take a ripe fruit and slice it the regular way and sprinkle the pieces with salt. Large, flaked sea salt might taste more intense, plus it looks more beautiful. After 10 minutes, your gourmet dessert will be ready. So, you need to chop up a heap of iceberg lettuce, but that tough core in the middle doesn't want to leave. Just hold the lettuce head in both hands with the core end down and slam it against a cutting board or some other solid surface, not your brother. Now, you should be able to pull the core right out of the bottom and slice the rest of the lettuce without a problem. The next time you take butter out of the fridge and struggle to spread it because, you know, it's hard as a rock, reach for your grater. With its help, you'll easily flake off tiny pieces of butter that will melt instantly on a warm toast. You can also spread them much easier on cold bread without putting your sandwich in the microwave or waiting for a while to soften the butter. Professional bakers approve of this tip and have been using it for a long time. When you're frying something, you first heat the pan and then put the food on it, right? Well, this logic won't work if you want to make your bacon crispy. On a hot pan, the meat will cook before the fat can melt out of it. Your bacon will be too fatty and rubbery. So you gotta lay the strips on a cold pan and then turn on medium-low heat. The fat will render out of the meat 
and the final result will be super yummy and crispy. Have you ever tried boiling pasta in a frying pan? I know it sounds a bit weird, but it can actually help you save a lot of time, water, and energy. Instead of filling a huge pot with water and waiting for it to boil, put your pasta in a frying pan and cover it with cold water and add some salt to it. Your pasta will be cooking while the water is getting to the boiling point, so it'll be ready much faster than normal. And the water that's left in the pan will make an excellent base for a sauce because it's filled with starch. Mix it with pesto, tomato sauce, and garlic butter. Mmm, it tastes like it's straight out of a gourmet restaurant. Now, the secret to cooking the most delicious and fluffy mashed potatoes is to dry them before you mash them. After boiling, you can either put them in a pot and leave them over low heat on the stovetop, or keep them in a baking sheet in a low oven. Then add melted butter that will coat the starch in the potatoes, and only then slowly add milk. Now your mashed potatoes will have the best possible structure and flavor. If you've shed enough tears over onions when trying to slice them, this one is a must-try for you. Peel the onions, cut them in half, and leave them in a fridge in a bowl of iced water for half an hour before you start cooking. The reason behind your tears is the sulfur that onions take from the soil while growing up. When you damage its cells, the acids contact the enzymes that start a whole bunch of reactions and release a chemical that makes your eyes water. Freezing the onion can weaken that chemical. To minimize it even more, only use a sharp knife to slice onions. This way, you'll do less damage to its cells. It's much easier to peel an avocado if you freeze it first. Just put it in the fridge as it is, give it some time, and then take it out and hold it under warm running water. Now you can peel it easily after you make a couple of crisscross incisions. The best way to keep herbs fresh and juicy is to store them like flowers. If you don't have the right size vase or vase, take a mason jar or a water glass and fill it with an inch of water. Now put the herbs inside as you would do to your roses. For parsley and cilantro, cover the jar with a plastic bag and store the bouquet in the fridge. Basil loves sunlight, so you better leave it uncovered on the counter. If you've made too much sauce or have some leftovers in a can that doesn't seem to be enough for anything, you can save it from the trash can. Pour the sauce into an ice cube tray and keep it in the freezer. Now, if you need to spice up a meal, you can always add a couple of sauce cubes to it. Plus, as a bonus, which is redundant, the sauce will last longer this way than it would in the fridge. Do your meatballs always turn out to be perfectly the same shape and size? Then skip this one. But if you're like me, just use an ice cream scoop to get the right amount of your minced meat mix. Try saying that five times. The balls will be the ideal shape and your fingers won't get sticky. The easiest and probably the most beautiful way to slice a mango is to turn it into a hedgehog. Wash the mango under running water. Don't squeeze it while doing it. Now put it straight up on a cutting board and cut it into three pieces from the top downwards. Just leave that flat pit in the middle piece. There isn't much you can do with it anyway. Now your mango will have two cute cheeks. I mean, its fattest parts. Next, make crosswise and lengthwise cut in the mango cheeks. Leave some even distance between the incisions and don't go all the way through the skin. Now press on the back side of the mango until the flesh pokes out. Does it look like something to you? Yep, a hedgehog. Hence the name of this slicing method. The final step will be to slice off the mango cubes into a bowl. Then eat. Now this one has all the potential to become your new breakfast favorite. You can cook an omelet in a mug. Take a large microwave-safe mug and coat the inside of it with olive oil or spray it with cooking spray. Add two eggs and one tablespoon of milk and mix them with a fork. Now add salt and pepper and any cheese, veggies, and herbs you like. Put it in the microwave on high for 30 seconds. Take it out, stir it with a fork, and then put it back for another 30 seconds. And voila! Your breakfast is served. Oh, be sure to use another mug for your coffee. Otherwise, you get eggs in your coffee, and nobody has a recipe for that. Now, don't blame that little lump on your computer cable for getting stuck somewhere for the umpteenth time. 
This cylinder, shapes and colors may vary, actually prevents interference from other signals, like those your phone emits. A lack of privacy in public bathrooms – I mean those large gaps beneath where normal doors tend to be – is there for a reason. This way, people do their business faster and there are fewer lines. Also, if something goes wrong, it's easy to find a person who needs help. In London, there are some poles that kind of look like street lamps, but there are no bulbs. Well, their official name is stink pipes, and they're a thing of the past now, but they used to come in handy back in the 19th century. These hollow poles would vent away the air and explosive gases with bad smells to prevent, shall we say, unwanted consequences. Blank pages in the books aren't actually for the author's signature. It's all about the manufacturing process. Books are printed on large sheets, so one sheet can fit in four pages. If a book has an odd quantity of printed pages, chances are you'll get a blank one for notes. Now, originally, golf balls were smooth. But some time ago, players noticed that overused balls with damages flew better than brand new ones. At some point, they started producing balls with dimples. Windshield black dots help disperse the sun glaring right into your eyes. This sort of frame keeps the UV rays away, so it serves as sunglasses for your car. The tab on the rearview mirror has obvious functions. It holds your air freshener, that cute toy. But in reality, it was meant to be a tumbler between day and night mode. It reduces the glare from the car behind you, so you can't be blinded. Colored dots on chip bags aren't as useful as those on the windshield, but they have a purpose too. Manufacturers need them to control the package color and show what ink color was used on the package. Eh, no big deal. Your microwave has a silent mode. Seriously. If those beeps drive you nuts, press 1 or 0 and hold. It might work. Also, there is sometimes a silent button you kept ignoring all this time. Anyway, there are no two identical microwaves, so a manual should come in handy. Grocery cart loops have more functions than you think. You don't want to put your fancy white jacket in a cart next to carrots and coke. This little hook-like thingy helps organize all the stuff in your cart better, so you can enjoy your shopping trip. Another thingy we often neglect is a point on an ointment cap. Most tubes are usually sealed with plastic film or foil, and opening it with your fingernails isn't the best idea. A point easily opens even the most safely sealed tube. Automatic lip liners and eye pencils have a sharpener installed in the package. The lid on the back part of the pencil doesn't only reveal the color. You can pull it out and sharpen up the product. Toothpicks come in different varieties, and one of them is a bit puzzling. Sometimes they have several grooves. The first one is weak, so it's easy to break the toothpick in two. The smaller section with one more groove can be used as a stand to avoid the contact with the table. You can make a makeshift stand for disposable chopsticks. They have a sort of lump at one side before you split the pair. So next time you have a sushi dinner, try breaking off that lump instead of regular splitting. When you want to take a sushi break, just place the stick on this stand. Yeah, you've heard before that a drawer beneath your oven is there for keeping the food warm if the guests are running late. Here's one more hidden function. You can slow cook on lower temperatures in that drawer, too. All the bottles used to be of the same green color once. But later it was discovered that brown ones are way better at blocking UV light. Say no more. Stickers on fruit seem to provide zero information about the product. But if you look closer, you'll find some numbers that can tell you more. A five-digit number where the first number is 9 is a good sign. You're about to buy an organic product. A four-digit number starting with a 3 or 4 means it was conventionally farmed. And if the number starts with an 8 and there are five digits, well, it's best to leave it on the shelf. A dollar has its secrets, too. A large letter with a rim shows which bank is responsible for issuing this bill. There are 12 banks distributing currency. For example, the L says it was printed in San Francisco. 
Now, some cups look like they're chipped on the bottom, but they're produced this way. In fact, these dimples are supposed to keep the cup in place on wet surfaces, and it doesn't let excess water accumulate while it's in a dishwasher. Small hollows in a chocolate box are designed for chocolate lovers. Press the closest deepening to the chocolate that you want to grab, and it'll jump out of the box right into your hand. Bath foam can be more than just a pleasant smell. It also has a sort of thermoregulatory function. The bubbles save water heat, so you can enjoy your bath a little longer. Disclaimer, it works for acrylic bathtubs only. Those made of metal lose heat fast, no matter how much foam you make. A good doorknob is one that's made of brass, bronze, or some copper alloys. These metals have an anti-germ effect. Bacteria spread way slower on them. They also get rid of germs pretty fast, within a couple of hours. Nope, it doesn't mean you don't have to wash your hands. If you pour milk or juice right onto your t-shirt every single time, you're probably not doing it right. Try pouring it from the other side of the carton. It sloshes less and is easier to control. There's only one way you can store your peanut butter right. If you place it the regular way, it may get a bit solid before long. The trick is to store it upside down so the oils don't stay on the bottom all the time and distribute evenly. A dinner jacket has small pockets above regular ones, and they're not useless. They're called ticket pockets and were designed so that gentlemen wearing such jackets could easily access the tickets and show them on a train. They could also store cash and other small loose items in a super convenient way. Now, whatever coffee shop you go to, all the disposable cups look exactly the same, only the logo changes. The secret here is the special shape that allows you to enjoy your drink easily. The top is always wider, which allows it to accommodate your nose while you're drinking. And the bottom is always narrower, so that anyone can hold it easier, even if the hand is quite small. This width difference also allows the cups to stack. Triangular flaps on small juice cartons can help control unwanted spillage. If you flip them and use them as handles for the carton, you won't press the package so the juice won't be squeezed uncontrollably. Now, if you have a mason jar and a blender with a screw on top, this secret is life-changing. You can actually put a mason jar directly onto the blender and make any shake you want without having to wash the blender jar. Just don't put your device on max. There's one trick you can use to make salt and pepper come out smoothly. Grab a container with pepper or salt, turn it upside down. There are ridges on the bottom of the shaker. Now grab the second container and rub those ridges together. The vibrations will make the product literally flow out. Most headphones, both wired and wireless, have little holes. They're needed to ensure good sound. The air circulates through those holes, which is important for the sound quality. Stick sachets were designed smartly. No need to tear one of its edges. The right way is to tear them down the middle. Now, you may say it's not a big difference, but at least there's less mess with those torn paper bits. If two zips for one section seem a bit too much for you, it's probably time you started using them wisely. It's a great pickpocket proof. You can put on a small lock on those zippers and make sure no one but you can open your backpack. Hide the key in the fifth pocket on your jeans that was originally designed to keep watches safe. So, now you know.